is working. Okay, it is. I get the link of this. Okay. Just how, how do I get a link to this? I'm a very skilled streamer, is the thing about me. I'll just be smart, I think. Open up. My thing. View my channel. Okay, I think I'm all set up now. I just need to quiet this down a bit. Probably raise it in OBS because I forgot to not do that. Okay. And I'm fucking good. Okay, so... It's time to finish off this jam entry. Let's go. Took me really long to actually get all this set up, but I should be good now. And let's get started with this. I barely remember how social bodies work, so I need to go over and read through some stuff again. I need to make a, I think for this jam entry, I want to make a force frame for all four of the weight types, because it seems like, I'm really, to be honest, I'm not totally sure, but it seems like the mechs are all split into the attribute types. We have a flash and a nerve mech for light, medium, heavy, and ultra. I'm assuming in the full release they'll have at least one for every attribute. 
So it seems kind of fun to dive into those other things, see what I could do with the prompt of a force mech for all of these. Right now they have a light melee one. Melee seems to all be like the It seems like all of the heavy guns are tall, where all of the heavy melees are long. So the longer mechs uh, seem to have an easier time using those big melee weapons. But there are exceptions, like the big fucking gun. So I'm not sure if that is like an intended feature. The rockets are also very tall. So now I'm thinking, like, because the sniper rifle is tall, scout rifle is tall. Hmm. What is the heavy frames for the current one, anyway? What is heavy? What is the heavy flash? Bullet <sighs> heralds. Must be for heralds. Melee does plus one damage. Okay. Okay, so Heavy Flash kind of seems like an all-rounder that has some benefits for both using, like, big, big guns, uh, like the one they have here, and big melee. Play melee doing plus one damage makes it seem like it'd be better at small melee, right? Because... For, like, knife, you're gonna be making multiple hit rolls from what I remember. And if each hit roll does damage instances individually, and plus one damage matters most on the, um, little weapons. But let me check the rules on attacks, because I might be missing something. Where is a combat attacking hit rolls? Damage disabling the death. All points. Okay, yeah. It rolls. If any part is hit is damaged, the damage saves are charged from SHP. It doesn't miss to have a lot of. Does it? A multi hit attack, okay. A lot of weapons, fire weapons, and missiles make multi hit attacks. This means that attacker makes a specific number of hit rolls and makes it blah, 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 blah. instead of one final accuracy value. If you search for you should do it between all location rolls. Hmm. Full. Wait, okay. This is strange. This means that the attacker makes, uh,. Let's find number of hit rolls are in this because the number of hit rolls equal to the number of missiles instead of one. Cool. So you roll two dice each time. And then you find the location on the thing and then you hit it. Yeah. The final accuracy value after subtracting evasion is divided evenly between all hit rolls. So if you have plus four accuracy and you make four hit rolls, each one is one accuracy. So you get to move them around one time each. Is that how that works? Example, different- oh, okay, this is an example, you should've just read that first. Uh... A different scavenger attacking, filled in like first from SMG, effectively have a quite a bit less time, so evasion is currently 2. Given that the scavenger SMG is plus 0 to it, it's only minus 2 accuracy, guaranteeing a miss against this tank. However, the SMG makes 3 locationals. So my two is these three or three rolls. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I don't even know if negative accuracy was a thing. I should I uh, was interested in finding that out when I was starting off on my last doohickey, my last thingamajig, my last 
the first page of the of the jam entry I did, I was I wasn't too sure on accuracy rules, and if negative accuracy was a thing. If that makes sense. Okay, that's interesting. So it does seem like each individual attack deals individual damage. So if you're like, if you have plus one damage on melee weapons, like Demolisher gives you, that means the dagger has like plus three damage, assuming all three of those hit rolls hit, which is interesting. Are there any big weapons of multiple hit rolls? It doesn't seem like it. Hmm, okay, well, that is interesting. Maybe I could feed into a design for one of these frames. But yeah, Heavy Flash has... What are the... What are these indicated zones supposed to be? Because on the Medium Flash, it has armor on the indicated zones. What are the indicated zones for this? And for the other heavy weapon, or the heavy mech too. And the ultras. What are the indicated <laughs> Wait a minute. One, two, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Weird. Is there an explanation on the grid rules for what the indicated zones could be? The grid is a core of every lamp layer. The most important part of the grid is the reactor. When the reactor is destroyed, you just die from its more functional the lamp lighter. Do uh, so like higher. Yep, 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 yep. When you place your reactor in your grid, it's bible to place around the shields or at least partially under the armor frames that are armored. This reactor. So are all of the indicated spaces armored? I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Another non-essential part is the shield generator. The shield generator. Wait, is it? What are those things? Are they? Are all of you armored? It says frames that are armored, plural. So. This one also had. Okay, wait. I'm done. I was just talked about that. Uh, this is armored. Yes. I'm just gonna assume that this means that they are armored here as well. Medium shields. Okay, on the example build, they're showing... I think these are example builds, at least. On the example build, they are showing that they are... Where is the heavy shields here? SMG is there. Virus probe. So that's... There's three of them. There goes on a three lines here. Stun needle here. Processor. Guess the reactor. I still don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these shapes mean. Where is the the three long heavy shields? Uh, am I wrong in thinking that there are? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong in thinking that there are, that these things on the right are supposed to be the example. Okay. 
assume the meteor shield seal. Oh, wait, wait. So this is the heavy shield. I see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see. And what? Oh my goodness, I feel, I feel so dumb. Where, what are these, these indicated grids supposed to be? I think I'm gonna just say that they are armor for now. Is there a section on armor specifically? Armor. 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 All heavy, oh, I should've just read this first, okay. All heavy and ultra mechs, among others, have cells with armor and reinforced armor. These protect both the max hull points and install parts. Armor reduces the damage by okay, one. While reinforced damage reduces. Okay, so black grids, the like heavy, heavily bolted grids, are heavy armor. I'm gonna assume. And then the gray grids are light armor. And the medium only has light armor on their stuff. Okay, cool. That makes sense. This one has, f they both have four total spaces of armor, with two of them being heavy and two of them being light armor. Okay, that's interesting. What would a heavy force, or medium, yeah, what, a bit, what would a heavy force do with armor? That's a, that's a, that's a interesting, oh, okay, I have an idea now. Let's... Insert break, page break. Get all of this, put it onto a new page. Get in the images that are gonna fuck shit up. Uh, and let's do the heavy force. Here is my, here is my idea for the heavy force frame now. Let's start with the, the keyword, cause I, that's what I know I want to, I want to fuck with. Uh, What? What do they call it on spaceships where they drop off their engines when they run out of fuel? I've got to Google this. Uh, space ships drop engines. Uh. Drop. That is not the thing at all. Drop engines. Break off sections of their shift. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Actually, this is this. That's a great word. Look, I was trying to look up what what is called when you fire off dead engines on a spaceship, but I will just call this feature dead. Wait. So my current idea for a heavy force frame is: what if we? I'm gonna have to make a new. What are the two heavy frames right now? So that is 5x5 five five and 4x6. Six. Well, let's do 6x4. Six That's easy. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a very scuffed way of doing it, but don't you worry. 6x4. Six so 1, 2, 3, 4. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me just take this one wrong with this 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then one, two, three, come to the right, come to the right, delete row, there, four, six. And we will have these. We'll give them all heavy armor instead of doing uh, like some heavy armor and some. Uh, and some like. There we go. So instead of having some heavy armor and some light armor, 
this is just going to have four spaces of heavy, heavy armor, but I think it would be interesting if they had a feature where it's like, oh, when this frame, frame moves, it may discard any number of its heavy armor grids to move an additional two zones. I don't know if that's the correct terminology right now, but this seems interesting. I like this. I like this. I like this idea. It's like um, the thing they do with Silver Chariot, Star Crusaders, where he fucking blasts off the armor and gets all fast. Like that seems cool. I like that. Let me actually check if that is how movement terminology is used in the book. And I know it's zones. Yeah, zones are ages. Zones and common is usually measured with the bow. Zones are often cool. Uh, how does movement work? Movement, 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 movement. Move. Move a number of zones based on your thrusters. Default two if you're. Yep. Game only duration every three moves to evasion offsets. Enemy accuracy uh, goes away at the start of your turn. Sick. Love that. Okay. Well, maybe I should make it three zones. So that's just like you get plus one evasion. Uh, moves to move an additional three zones. Now it's just like plus one evasion for every one you draw. Uh, the armor is recover at the end of combat. Combat. Is armor capitalized? Do they capitalize any keywords in this? Is that how that works? It is capitalized keywords. Armor, you're getting capitalized. Zones, also getting capitalized. Is frame capitalized? Is it even called frames, or am I being silly? Of course it's called frames. I've read it so many times. How does frame? Frame is capitalized. Frame, 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 frame. 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 All of these also need to have their frames capitalized. Frame. Frame. Is weapons capitalized? I don't know, but zone. Out of two total grid spaces. Second of those frames grid. Frames. Oh, it's already sort of stuck out. Spaces. Always crits. Cool. Nice. Heavy force. This seems cool. I like this a lot. I like this this uh, this ability. Is there? Do enemies have armor? And would it be cool to design a weapon that goes through armor? Would it be kind of weird? Double damage versus shields. Oh, that's cool. With the railgun. Do any of them, do enemies, where are enemies? Enemies. Do enemies have armor? You don't have armor. You don't have armor. This has armor. Okay, so there are actually plenty of, of enemies with armor. So let me check the weapons and see if they're armor-piercing weapons. I like that the shotgun gets rid of missiles really good. That's that's fun. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I should have said in the Discord that I was streaming. Um, it 
doesn't seem like there's an anti-armor weapon. That feels like a great place to go for... Yeah, it seems like a great way to... to develop out stuff. Okay, cool. Um, I would have used Pile Bunker for anti-armor weapon, uh, but they already have Pile Bunker because... The writers are smart. <laughs> that game needs Pile Bunker. What is another good anti-armor weapon? Um, I already put in a revolver. Can't put in two. Or I just could. Or I could not care that I am using the same thing twice, and I could just put in two revolvers. That might be good. That feels right. Yeah, two revolvers is good. The pistol could just be a revolver, though. Eh. Uh, what is a good anti-armor weapon? We'll have like a pick. Yeah, that's good. That's that's great. Ooh, like a like a damn. Oh, and I can give it a little a little pickaxe Minecraft shape. That's fun. Yeah, we'll do a little, we'll do a pick. That seems cool. Again, you're not allowed to make fun of how I am setting up these grids. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. What is like an average sized weapon? One, two, three, four, five for a sword. Dagger is three, we'll go four. Four long. One, two, three, four, and then little thing sticking at the top and bottom because it's a pickaxe. Get it? It's great. We love it. Now we 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 make those invisible. And then we insert column to right, insert column to right, insert row above. Let me grab all of these shapes. Slap them in here, and we've got our pickaxe. That's wonderful. Pick axe. Range. That's got to be like zero to one, right? Oh, probably range of zero. Even the big axe is range zero. Let's not do zero to one then. Just range zero. Damage. Let's make it a little chunky, but not too chunky. Let's do six. Make it around this. Make it like a side grade to the sword. It will have the triple damage crit effect because it's not going to do a sword finisher, but it will have strong melee, ignore armor. Probably should have at least plus one accuracy too, because I think like. Ah, so that's a that's like a sword specific thing. It doesn't need more accuracy. Why did they say plus zero accuracy? I guess strong melee is supposed to give you accuracy and zero accuracy. It just like sh like shows explicitly that it doesn't. Sure, it's plus zero accuracy ignores armor armor's damage reduction. And then, do I need a crit effect on this? I can wear armor damage reduction. Probably not! Honestly? Like, what would I... You could have it instantly destroy parts, that might be funny. I'm assuming this is just on the player's side. I don't know, maybe... Is that too strong? Well, no, because crit... Don't remember, because crit only works when you... You only crit things when you target a already destroyed or missing part. So it's not like I'm going to be hitting something that isn't destroyed and then critting and being like, oh, I get to destroy it. So that's just not how. That's just not how game work. That's just not how do. I do want a crit effect though. The weapon crit effects are cool and I like them. And they all have, okay, they all have crit effects. So this, to fit the other weapons, you should have a crit effect. Do we just do double damage? Let's just do double damage. 
Double damage is fun. There's only one double damage crit right now, so it's like, I can even it out. <sighs> Double damage. And then we need to get a pickaxe image that is not from Minecraft to use for the art. Sure, this is the good stock pickaxe image. Ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Sure, this works. Uh, all image options, recolor, recolor, monochrome, bam. It's too big. Let's make it small. What is a cheeky little flavor text I can do for a pickaxe? Um, something about ore and plate being similar. Something about rocks. Something about rock, steel, or bone. Break, break them all. Uh, two. Are there two line flavor texts in Sociologies? Are they all one line? They have way more room in this document because they're not doing double um, double columns. Well, for me, it's double columns, but these are all two page spreads. So, probably. Hmm. Should I just reduce the font size a little? It's barely... It's barely breakable. It looks like a dome. Well, I guess I'm not... I, I'm not even at hyper zoom. This is fine. Let's just make them all 7 font size. Wait, they're already 7? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, this is 6. Too small. I'll just leave it for now. Also, there's no reason for these to be capitalized. Boxy or bone, break them all. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. That works for now. We're speedrunning. Speedrunning this project. Boom, boom, na, na. Boom, ba, da, ba. I kind of want to do another weapon now. We'll, we'll do the we'll do the the ultra for snacks. So I'll at least give it the name though. Wait a minute, I forgot to update these. This so this is a uh, one two three four five. This is four by five. Or f is this wrong? Wait a minute. Did I do this wrong? I think it was supposed to be six long. Yeah, I wanted to make this six long, but this is five. Let's add another row. Hollow. A six by three grid. How much health is average for heavies? 24. And 25. We'll make this 24 because it has the extra armor. We'll make this 23. Just to have a different number than everything else. A. How does it describe the nerve? Frame one vice versa to work very fast. See more frames of mobility. Mobility than the ultra frames. A well armored frame capable of discarding. Wait to increase its speed of 
I have, oh my goodness, I know there's a better word for discarding to use here. Uh, I can't think of it at all. Capable of... What do they do when they fire things off into space? Oh my goodness, I know. I know there's a thing here. There's a thing for me to, 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 to think about. There's a word for me to use. But I cannot think of what it is. Capable of... So this was an E, I think? I'm just gonna Google synonyms for discarding. That feels about right. Sin... No... Nim... Or... Discard. Jettison. 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 Oh, jettisoning. Jetti jettison. Jettisoning. Jettis jettison. What is jettison as a verb? Jettison. Verb. Jettisoned. Am I not thinking of verbs? What am I thinking of? <laughs> Jettisoning. It is jettisoning. That's weird. I don't like that. Jettisoning. Wait. Jettisoning. There's a better way I can phrase this. I don't like using the word jettisoning. That sounds... Ooh, oh, that sounds gross. I'll just do eject. Ejecting. Wait. To increase the speed. Uh, not barely covering. As a... I'm using jettisoning. Fuck it. Jettisoning a way to increase the speed. It's good. <laughs> cool, sure. Okay, um... What other ideas for weapons could I get off of all that? I can't have a weapon that jettisons itself because I already did that with the disposable SMG. What is a what is an element of this thing? There's no greatsword, right? The enormous axe, you could just say it's a greatsword, but um, I feel like big sword should be a thing that is in the melee weapons roster. I mean, this sword is pretty big already, but bigger sword. Adding a <clears throat> oh goodness, adding evasion to damage is a really interesting way of doing the lances, like um, momentum stuff. That's cool. Uh, hits adjacent squares for one damage. Ooh, that gives me an amazing idea. Okay, cool. Uh, so. What if we have the greatsword hit all squares in a, uh, infinitely long or infinitely tall one space line? Let's do that. That sounds cool. Uh... Executioner, Executioner's sword, and then I'll get an image of that for the actual thing. Range, zero. Damage. It's, the word's too long. All's called. Great sword then, if I have to. Great sword. Let me get the image for the Executioner's sword. Is that what I'm thinking of? 
flat end, right? That's its main thing that I know. It's also in fucking Elden Ring. I'll just use the Elden Ring image. I don't care. Uh, I might switch it over later, but for now, this is, that's not what matters. Or, okay, first I need to make the shape. That's what really matters. The right sword should be like the sword, but great. Sword is one by five. Let's make it. Let's make it like this. I have an idea. Uh, we'll make it like. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it'll be wide, but not at the base, so it's like a handle. Get it? This is also a insanely, uh, this seems like a weapon that is really hard to get onto your mech. Uh, it takes up so many total spaces. Delete, delete, delete row. And this will be how it is. That is a very silly weapon shape for me to give it. Damage, that's gotta be like an 8, right? What is the damage? Oh, damage on the enormous axe is 6. Maybe not an 8. Maybe a 7. This is just like a bigger enormous axe, isn't it? It's even more unwieldy. 1, 2, 3, 4. Significantly bigger. It's one longer, and it's... Maybe it shouldn't be this long. Maybe it doesn't need that last, that last column. And in that case, maybe it should just be six damage. Yeah, I'll just make it six damage. Nah, I mean, let's, let's keep it at seven. Seven is cool. It's a melee weapon, so I'll have these. For strong melee. Let's go plus one accuracy, because a sword has a lot of accuracy. So the great sword should at least have a little. I think that makes sense. Deals one damage to all spaces in a four is on full line intersecting with the target space. Is that the best way I could word that? Have to think about it for a second. This one damage, this one damage, all spaces on a. How do the how does that axe word it? Hit adjacent squares. Wait. Also uses squares, not spaces. Hit squares in a horizontal line associated with a targeted space. Four one damage. Does it capitalize damage? Oh, it's just DMG. DMG. It squares on horizontal line intersecting with the target space for in a vertical or I'll just put all spaces to specify that it's like it's a, it's it's an infinitely long line. Hit all spaces in vertical horizontal line intersecting with the target space for one damage. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. That feels that feels like a good way to do it. Do I still have the image copy tonight? I uncopy it because I copied the text. Does this have a transparent background? No, but it works.
This is a little silly, but it's okay. Make sure it's monochrome. It's fine. Um, just do the other plan I had of making them like kind of overlap with the things. Nah, nah, that's silly. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with that. Fuck it. Keep it simple, made for cleaving. And into all caps this ultra at all tra. I think now it is time to move on to the ultra frame. This also has to have armor, but I'm gonna have to not uh, just give it up four spaces of heavy armor like I did with the uh, the other one. What are the ultras? What are the two ultras in the base book? They have eight frames. No, wait, no, not only a six. No, wait, they both only have six. They have six frames of armor. Or six spaces. Squares, whatever. This seems difficult to do for the grid because I can't. If I want to stick with the same total grid spaces, then I don't think there's a way for me to actually do it differently than 6x5 or 5x6. Because, you know, 6 is the maximum, it doesn't go to 7. So I guess I'll just have to stick with one of those. Oh, stable fire platform is a very funny, funny feature. That's good, that's good. Here you go, is any attacking your missiles need to roll? Well, t I guess the obvious right of action is, is, uh, ultra melee frame. Because it's like ultra gun platform, ultra missile platform. Just do ultra melee frame, it's easy. Or we could do ultra hack. But that doesn't really seem like it would be flash or nerve. I mean, can I not call the Trey Excalibur in that case? That seems like the funniest thing to do by far. Excalibur. Excalibur. 
Um, what do I do? I could just give it big numbers on the sword, but that's kind of boring. Seems like it'd be more interesting to do something like based on how many close opponents you have. That might be cool. Uh, hmm. I also could do an explosives. And actually, I've already done like two melee frames. Let's do an explosives frame. That seems cool. Explosives. Because nothing has, you know, explosives are their own type of weapon, and, no, and nothing has, uh, from what I can see, a benefit with explosives. Since so many explosives have negative accuracy, let's do something like... It's not where Sonic Scour anymore, it's um <sighs> Guided Bombs. Sure. Uh all explosive weapons used by this frame. Deal one damage to the Closest space on a miss. Does that make sense? Deal one damage on a miss. Where does it deal the dam- Oh, because damage can be dealt to- Oh, okay, yeah. Deal one damage on a miss. Deals. Also doesn't use the word one, uses the number one. Also uses DMG. I think. Yeah, DMG. All explosive so capitalize. Explosive weapons. Is that how it is? Number of flawed. I could just the way it words is I it could just be all just explosive weapons deal damage to close the space on this. Deal one damage to close the space on this. Yeah, I think there's never gonna be two closest spaces with this because if you're because it's it's placed in the top left corner, if you miss, you're always gonna be closest to one space. Yeah, so that works. Unless you're right here. No, then it's bop, bop. Well, no, that's still the closest space. If you're here, closest, yeah. There's only one closest space, even if you take two revs. If you're here, that's still the closest. Yeah. Okay, cool. That works. Uh, bombs. Uh, let's... Nah, that is dumb. Let's call it, um... Like... Fracture... Fracture bombs. There. Explosive weapons have plus one DMG and deal plus one. Deal one damage closest to closest space on this. That's good. Yeah. And Ultra Force should have row below. Row below. Do both of the Ultras have the same health in the book? Yeah, they both have the same health. So I can just copy this whole grid text. Yeah. That works. They also... Sh I also should be bolding the grid number and the HP number, because that's what it does in the book. So let me go through all of these and do that. Grid number, HP number, 
grid number. HP number. And where do I want to put the armor? I need to actually set that up. Let's get this out. What? No. I want to copy this. Copy. Here. It doesn't do it. Okay. So it should be six by six. One, two, three. Wait, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's three light armor squares. Where did I set it up on here? This is the the one I'm following as. Does this have the armor be completely disconnected? Sure, fuck it. Let's do that. Sounds fun. On the left side, we will have the medium armor. On the right side, we will have the heavy armor. Beautiful. We take that and we put it on here. That is not how it's supposed to be. Why are you shaped like this? Is this gonna work? Because this one just did the same thing for both. It uh, This does work. Nice. Okay. And this is too much spaces. A giant frame with additional bracing at the limbs to carry and fire explosives. Frame. Does that spell bracing? It doesn't look like it, but it's not giving me bra bracing. How do you spell bracing? So it's, it's MG, not GN. NG. Additional bracing. Cool. Okay, so now I just need one more weapon. May as well make it a fucking explosive weapon, eh? I should also probably put in some categorization for the things ranged ranged weapons no that does not fit at all put those back i need to categorize the weapons it's fine Grenade launcher, we already have a flat cannon, we already have a rocket launcher. What is another explosive weapon? Let's just do a melee explosive weapon. Yeah, fuck it, no one can stop me. Let's do like a bomb hammer.
fuck it. Alright, yeah. Bomb hammer. I love it. Have a it'll be like the uh what we did with the pickaxe, but it'll be longer. So let's just take the pickaxe profile. Copy it over. Make another home on the right. There we go. And it will technically be a explosive weapon. So we will have the explosive effect profile. These are not be bolded. Um We'll just make it a more extreme version of the grenade launcher, basically. I won't give it the one damage on this effect. Yeah, there's also space space in between. Uh, what's that? What's, what's all that, then? I guess we'll just make all of it two damage. Make it space damage four. Or I guess we'll stick with five, maybe? Because has a less, has worse range, and takes up way more space than the other one. Multiple times the amount of space. Eh, I mean, we'll, we'll go with four, because there's potential for way more damage. It's more than the rocket launcher. Is going to be hitting their opponent with a with a big hammer. We'll do this so that the because the crit damage would be way too effective. If I caped it with the other effect. Yeah, okay, and then let's get the the image I found. Fit better. And then we recolor it to be monochrome. And there we go. Beautiful. Wow. I don't think there's anyone watching right now, but for the VOD, if someone ends up watching it, I think that's it for now. A very short little one hour thing, but uh, recording myself makes it easier for me to fucking finish a project. So, yeah, I'm gonna peace out. Here we go.